Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. You may remember that a week or so ago I did a video complaining about Topaz Labs Photo AI. Specifically, in the past, if we use Photo AI as a Lightroom Classic plugin, we were able to maintain the raw format of our image throughout our workflow, meaning when I sent a raw file from Lightroom Classic into Photo AI and came back into Lightroom Classic, I still had a raw file. Unfortunately, with a recent update, they removed that functionality. So when I returned from Photo AI, I no longer had a raw file, I had a TIFF file. Well, I'm happy to say they've returned that functionality or restored that functionality to Topaz Labs Photo AI. But there is one caveat, and I'm going to demo and explain that in this video. Now, as you can see, I have this Nikon RAW file. There's a considerable amount of noise in this file, and I did do some editing to it, as you can see. And it doesn't matter if you do edits to your image in Lightroom first or you do it later, because when this image goes into Photo AI, it will be the unedited RAW file. So we're going to send it into Photo AI right now by going to File, down to Plugin Extras, and then over and down all the way to the bottom process with Photo AI. Now, when this image opens up in Photo AI, uh, Photo AI has something called Autopilot, where it will examine the image and determine what is needed to be done. And if you look over at the right-hand panel, it determined it needed, needs raw denoise and it needs sharpening done. And if you look at the image, you can see it is the unedited RAW file. No edits have been done to this, even though I edited it in Lightroom. Now, it did a pretty good job just with Autopilot. There's before and there's after. You also could click this little eyeball down here. There's before, there's after. Now, specifically what it did, if I open up raw denoise, it determined that it needed the raw normal AI model with strength of 16 and minor to blur at 1. And if I go to the subject, um, or the sharpening, I mean, it used the AI model of standard with strength at 72 and minor to noise at 31. And it just sharpened the subject, meaning it only sharpened the eagle. It didn't do the background at all, which is good. Now, let's just say that I want to keep those settings as they are if I go down to the lower right-hand corner and export it to Lightroom Classic, it's going to save it as a DNG file, which is a RAW file. Where you will lose that ability, though, is if you go to Add Enhancements and you add either Adjust Lighting or Balance Color. If you do either of those two, you're going to get a TIFF file when you come back. So as long as you don't adjust the lighting or balance color and you just export it back to Lightroom Classic, you'll see right here, NEF to DNG. DNG, of course, is a RAW file. We're going to get that RAW file. And I mentioned when it sends it over, it sends over the unedited image because I did those edits in Lightroom. When it comes back, it will apply those edits. It just takes a second to kick in. You can see it down here. It's not edited, not edited, not edited. It's going to kick it in. There it is. So let's do a before after. If I zoom in, here is the original Nikon RAW file with some edits done to it. And you can see there's a considerable amount of noise and it's not super sharp. And if I go to the edited image from Topaz Labs Photo AI, you can see the noise is gone and it's really sharp. So it did a great job. So I'm happy to say they restored that functionality because that was disappointing that you would you lose the raw format throughout your workflow when you use Photo AI as a Lightroom plugin. I also want to mention very quickly that I am working on an entire course on Photo AI and I almost have it done. I should release it next week. It's going to run $29.99. But if you subscribe to my newsletter, I'm going to give a discount code in my newsletter that will save you $10. So you'll be able to get it for $19.99. So in the description below this video, look for the link to my newsletter so you can subscribe. And then next week, you'll get my newsletter sometime announcing that the course is live and you'll be able to buy it for $19.99. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. Talk to you guys soon.